Flu shots don't cause zombieism. They are not a government conspiracy and they don't make you sick, but they do contain eggs. Howdy, Trace here for D News, and stop saying that the flu vaccine is gonna cause zombification. It's not, just stop, don't, no, just stop. The flu is caused by a family of influenza viruses that infect humans every season. Year over year, the virus adapts, it changes, and different strains become stronger than others, which is why we have to keep getting vaccinated every year. The CDC says between 3,000 and 49,000 people in the US alone will die from influenza. That's a big range, CDC. There are all sorts of cockamamie theories around the flu vaccine, but there is one that is definitely false, and that is the flu vaccine will make you sick. It will not make you sick. There are tons of studies showing that it will not. Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. This year's flu vaccine actually started on its path last year. First, the US Centers for Disease Control, or the CDC, researches what viruses they think will attack the population next year. For 2013, they picked A. California 7 2009, which is similar to H1N1, A. Victoria 361 2011, which is like H3N2, and B. Wisconsin 1 2010. They cultivate the samples they keep at the CDC and send those out to vaccine manufacturers, who then use it to infect chicken eggs. Once they're infected, they're incubated so that the virus can do its thing. One dose of flu vaccine equals one chicken egg. So if we want to vaccinate 100 million people, we need 100 million fertilized chicken eggs. That's why it takes so long to make enough vaccine for everyone. Once the eggs are nice and infecty, a big machine cuts the tops off all the eggs and dumps out the fluids. Since they know which viruses are there, they use the proper drug to disable that virus and then chop them up into little pieces and mix them together and voila, you have a vaccine for three different viruses. Just like a rabies shot, these disabled viruses viruses are injected into your body so that your body gets kind of a preview of what's to come. Then it can create antibodies and when the real virus shows up, bang, zoom, we'll be able to fight it. That being said, it takes a couple of weeks for your immune system to create enough antibodies to fight off an infection. So you can get sick even after you've been injected. It takes one to four days for the influenza virus to infect a cell and then start copying itself enough times to mount an attack. And in that time, you could have gotten your flu vaccine, but you already had the virus. If you are still afraid of the flu vaccine causing zombification, then you probably should be afraid of omelets and breakfast buffets and quiches too, because they're all just eggs. But after all this, if you still don't want to get a vaccine, you should probably hang out with people who have it. There's this thing called herd immunity, where if you hang out in a population that has the vaccine, you are also protected. However, the population should have an inoculation rate of over 70%, which even doctors don't have. So good luck finding one. And also, there are even no guarantees with this method. I'm not trying to give out any medical advice whatsoever, but I did get my flu vaccine this year. And that's good because the CDC says the H2N3 strain that's supposed to go around is particularly nasty. We know this because back in 2003, 2004, it was also around and also particularly nasty. Did you get a flu vaccine? Are you going to get a flu vaccine? Let us know down in the comments why and or why not. Also subscribe to D News because we do two videos every single day of the week, including Saturday and Sunday now. So thanks for watching, everybody, and stay healthy.